Digital marketing is more important than ever for estheticians and spa owners. And that's why I'm so excited to be hosting our first virtual aesthetic marketing seminar on August 24th and 25th from 10 to 3 Eastern time. This is a live conference. We're going to be teaching you about funnels, about email marketing, about digital ads, all the things that you need to have in place as a spa owner so that you can be making money around the clock, whether that means virtual appointments or creating a system where your clients can book appointments online, selling your products through an e-commerce store, driving traffic to your website, all the things that are incredibly important, especially now more than ever, so that you can make money in your sleep. Use the internet, use technology as your own personal marketing team. We're going to show you how. I'm so excited, so passionate about this content. And the best part is that it's totally free. So I want you to click the link, get registered, and I can't wait to see you there. All right, this is our spa social beat. I am here with my Post With Purpose business partner, Danielle. And today we are talking about the best video editing apps. Now, you'll hear me talk about video, video, video all the time. I know you talk about it all the time too, Danielle. And we wanna make it as easy as possible. I know for me personally, I end up doing a bunch of lives because there is no editing really. It's just, you just go. But for those of you that don't want to do lives, you're really kind of mapping out your content. We've got some apps that can help make your life significantly easier. So what do you recommend for apps, Danielle? Yeah. So I use a couple kind of depending on what I'm doing. So if I'm doing social posts, meaning like little videos for Instagram, which those videos are one minute in the feed, or if you're doing stories, I like to do more of those off the cuff stories that don't really need editing. But um, if you're trying to do a, a nice little video clip for your feed that maybe is a little more produced, I love InShot and it's just I-N-S-H-O-T. And it's really just a super easy to use app that allows you to crop your video down into the square. Uh, you can make your video a hyperlapse so that it goes in really fast speed. You can take maybe a clip of you doing a treatment and fit it into one minute. Um, you can trim your video so that you can cut out those sections where you kind of, you know, mess up or trip over your um, word. <laughs> um, <so> you <laughs> You can uh, add music, royalty-free music behind your videos. It's just a really good way to kind of add those little bells and whistles and do it really easily and in a way where you don't need like a professional video editing degree to know how to use it. Um, so and that's, that's called cool. InShot, I-N-S-H-O-T. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And that can be found right in the app store. And I will say it's worth, it's like $3 to upgrade to the professional version of the app, which just takes that little InShot um, logo off of the corner of your, you know, the watermarks that they put on some of these apps. I hate, hate, hate watermarks. And so I think it's worth just upgrading. It's $3 once it's not a monthly subscription. It's worth getting that. Plus you get a few pro features that unlock with the pro app as well, which are nice to have. Um, now if you're doing YouTube style videos or just videos that you definitely want to be more professional, polished, um, Maybe you're showing a sequence of things or you're doing a demo and you want to cut to different shots. And again, you don't want to like video editing to be this big complicated thing. I find iMovie to be very easy to use to stitch a couple clips together and have easy transitions. There's also an app or and it's a desktop based app um, called Capwing and that's K-A-P-W-I-N-G very easy to crop your videos down into IGTV formats, into uh, YouTube formats. You can add captions, like type out your captions. So if you're really wanting to take your social-based video to the next level, that's a really good software to use. And actually with iMovie, I'm not totally familiar with how to like add captions to iMovie. I just use iMovie for more it's like- easy. I rem Before we had a video editor, mm -hmm. I used iMovie and it was Perfect. something that I just figured out, like I could figure it out myself. Yeah. And um, I'm reasonable with tech. I wouldn't say I'm a tech whiz, but like 
I can figure it out. And iMovie was, it took me maybe a half hour to get all the different things. So it's, it's pretty user-friendly, especially if you're a Mac user. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if you're not a Mac user, you're not gonna have iMovie, and that's where I think Catwing becomes a good option. But if you've got an Apple computer or device, like all you need is iMovie and it's free, it's on, uh, it's on your computer already, so. Very good. All right, so let's up-level those videos. Let's up-level your social content. It's never been easier. Tech should no longer be an obstacle. We can do this right from our phone. And like, even my grandma has a smartphone now. So (laughs) (laughs) it can be done. 